two prominent theories in modern physics, general relativity and the standard model of particle physics, have conflicting predictions regarding the energy of empty space. The disparity between these predictions is enormous, differing by a factor of 100 Google quintillion. Despite efforts to bridge this gap, no solution has been found thus far. A successful scientific theory is characterized by its ability to make precise and accurate predictions. Scientists are particularly pleased when two separate theories produce predictions that align with each other. Therefore, physicists are somewhat disappointed when their two best theories are used to predict the simplest quantity possible, only to find that they disagree so drastically that it is often referred to as the worst prediction in the history of science. Empty space is essentially devoid of any substance. Since it contains nothing, one might assume that calculating the energy of empty space would be straightforward, and the prediction would be zero. However, this expectation is incorrect. The two theories that form the foundation of modern physics when combined are known as the theory of general relativity and the standard model of particle physics. General relativity explains the behavior of gravity and applies to large structures in the universe while the standard model of particle physics accounts for all other forces and governs the quantum realm of the very small. Both theories can be applied to empty space. So, what happens when these two theories are utilized to calculate the energy density of a true vacuum? Einstein's theory of general relativity delves into the shape and movement of space itself. For a century, we have been aware that the universe is expanding and the theory that describes its evolution is called the Big Bang. Essentially, this theory suggests that the universe was once smaller, and something triggered its expansion. Considering that gravity is an attractive force, this implies that after the expansion began, it would gradually slow down. Why? Because all the matter in the universe would exert gravitational pull on each other. Therefore, it was incredibly surprising when researchers studying the universe's evolution discovered in 1998 that not only was the universe expanding, but the expansion was actually accelerating. The only way this could occur is if space possessed a small and distinct energy associated with it. If this energy had the right characteristics, it would result in a repulsive form of gravity. Researchers refer to this repulsive gravity as dark energy and they can calculate the amount of dark energy required to explain the observed evolution of the universe. This energy is extremely small, equivalent to about the energy of four hydrogen atoms per cubic meter of space. So, does the standard model predict the existence of energy in space, and if so, how much? According to the standard model, all of space is filled with various fields. When these fields vibrate in specific ways, Particles of the quantum world, such as electrons and quarks, manifest. However, even when the fields are at rest, there remains a continuous underlying hum with fleeting vibrations in the fields at different wavelengths. Since particles and waves are essentially the same thing in the quantum world, this implies that empty space contains a chaotic mixture of ephemeral particles that instantaneously appear and disappear. This lowest energy state of the fields is referred to as the zero point and the energy it contains is known as zero-point energy. To calculate the zero-point energy of the quantum world, one must consider the cumulative effect of all the quantum waves. In theory, there is no minimum wavelength, so shorter and shorter waves are added up. Since shorter wavelength corresponds to higher energy, this means adding up increasingly higher energies. However, the standard model eventually breaks down at very high energies so the calculation only includes energies up to a certain maximum, and therefore wavelengths down to a certain minimum. The specific maximum energy to be used in the calculations is a subject of theoretical debate, but most scientists agree that the highest energy for which the standard model is applicable is called the Planck energy. If this energy is used as the cutoff in the calculation, the zero-point energy is calculated to be extremely high. The energy density is equivalent to compressing the mass of 100 quintillion times the entire visible universe into a cubic meter. Indeed, based on this simple calculation, the energy density predicted by the standard model is approximately 0120 times greater than that predicted by general relativity. This discrepancy is truly remarkable and justifies the label of the worst prediction in all of science.
The factor of when 120 represents a worst case scenario. There are unproven theories that have been proposed to improve this situation. For instance, if a theory called supersymmetry is proven to be true, the disagreement would only be a factor of 1060. When such a significant discrepancy arises, it indicates that there is something fundamentally wrong with one or both theories. It is possible that our current theoretical understanding is flawed, but general relativity accurately describes the cosmos, and the standard model effectively explains the quantum realm. The problem only arises when these two theories are compared. Various proposed solutions have been put forward. One explanation stems from the assumption made by the standard model that there is no smallest unit of space. This implies that the smallest volume can be infinitely divided into even smaller units. However, what if there is a smallest unit of space, similar to an atom of space? If this is the case, it would alter the calculations, and in such a scenario, the discrepancy between cosmic and quantum energy could vanish. Another idea suggests that our senses may have deceived us. As we perceive the world around us, we perceive movement in three spatial dimensions. However, if additional dimensions of space exist, this would significantly impact our theory of gravity, rendering the current quantum calculations, which are performed in three-dimensional space, incorrect. While the ultimate answer remains unknown, it appears more likely that the problem lies in our understanding of the quantum world. After all, if the standard model's prediction were accurate, the universe would have expanded so rapidly that stars, galaxies, and even humans would have never come into existence. Nevertheless, the mystery persists. The fact remains that researchers do not know why our theories of the cosmic and quantum worlds produce such divergent predictions. Despite decades of effort, the answer has eluded even the most brilliant minds in the field of science. We must patiently wait for the day when someone solves this cosmic puzzle and joins the ranks of physics legends.